The Nuzlocke Challenge is a set of self-imposed rules to make Pokémon more challenging. Generally, there are two rules. 1. You're only allowed to catch the first Pokémon you encounter in each area. 2. If a Pokémon faints, it's considered dead and either has to be stored in the PC box forever or released. And here are some additional rules I'm using. Let's see how it goes. I fix the slowdown, everybody. Look at this, I can run around, and it's not lagging! Wow! I, I usually don't stream multiple times a day, but I'm just having too much fun playing this. Hopefully we don't lose anybody else. Lady, This lady will give us a berry every single day. That is a Chesto berry, I think that heals sleep. Uh, yeah, still got it. Still got it memorized. Hey, that kid is a witness, what do we do? We don't need a brat running off to get help. The solution's simple. We'll kill him! <laughs> okay. This is a dark type, isn't it? So it's... Oh, jeez. Please no. Oh, please no! Oh, please no! Oh! God. There we go. Easy. Oh! What? Already? Okay. Alright. Yes! And then he learns confusion. Uh, looks like Doorknob's gonna be a special attacker. So how we're gonna do this is uh, each tree we get one encounter and that's it. That's how we're gonna do the trees. Because people wouldn't just accept it was too much work for our employees and we don't want to overwork them given this. Yeah. But then you could also say, Devil's Advocate, you could also say they have so much money they could staff up. I should have swapped out. I was like, I, I want all this XP for Crowbar. And I got greedy. God, I'm, a, I'm mad at myself. I'm mad at myself, I'm mad at this stunky. Oh, God. I can't catch another. All right, well, on the bright side, Fork is evolving. Yeah, it just wouldn't feel right, you know? Well, Fork evolved, I guess, so that's nice. So, let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. Ah yes, people wanting to change the world by force are clearly in the right mindset, absolutely. What do you think you're doing to my Pokémon? I'm battling! What do you think I'm doing? I could probably take him. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit! Okay. This is a Nuzlocke Ender? Oh, jeez. Ooh. I can see why. Uh, maybe I should do a few withdrawals. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like this one bit, chat. Alright. I think I'm gonna have to cheese this. I do have more potions. Withdrawal and defense curls. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thing is, crit, crit doesn't ca care about withdrawals. Mm, I don't like that at all. Yeah, we're cheesing this. We're cheesing the hell out of this. If anyone can beat it, it's shield. I believe in you, shield. You've never left me astray. You've always been reliable. Just a flat 40. Don't hear the lawnmower? Okay, good. Ah, oh, it's 666 XP! That's evil. That Perugly is confirmed evil. Ooh. Curse, that's a good move. That is a fantastic move. Avenge Crowbar. I will! I will! I will avenge Crowbar. Screw you, Mars, and your stupid grunts and their critical hits. Fucking five hit fury swipes. It gave me curse and it gave me 666 XP. That is not a coincidence. Thank you, trainer. Nah, nah, nah. Sorry your crowbat died. Ha 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 ha! You run them off, you say? Well, you're a trainer, but. Very well, I shall go investigate inside! <laughs> God damn it, looker. Uh. 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 uh Alright. Magnificent! Yes, it is! <laughs> oh, fucking looker. There, I must head off. There he goes, our hero. Let's see what we gonna get. Ah, oh, a Shellos, okay. Shellos is nice and tanky. Oh, uh, here's the... There's the lawnmower. Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, everybody. Uh, here it comes again. It's right outside my door. There it is, that's my mom. 
Water Pulse is a solid move to have. There we go. All right. We got our we got ourselves a Shellos. What do we name it? Gum. Oh, like gum from like Jet Set Radio. I like that. That's cute. I like gum. <laughs> Cause she's pink like gum. Oh, look at her. She's cute. I like her. Let's do a little bit of grinding, shall we? Hey, potatoes, getting strong, getting big and strong. He learned rock polish. Did you imagine how terrifying it would be to see a Geo dude just whizzing around, levitating through the air, just? Phew, 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 phew. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Shield is evolving. Yeah. He's gonna be so big and strong now! He's gonna be so big and strong! Look at his stats! He's so big! He's almost got 50 attack! He's great! I love him. Still missing sword. We gotta find a really offensive Pokemon to be our sword. Oh boy, it knows Ember. Okay, this is really bad. Okay, swapping you out, Potato. You are... Alright. Oh, God. It's okay. You you like whatever you like. Come on. Wow. I don't like this. I don't like this at all, chat. I should have sent out gum. That's what I should have done. God, I'm a fart. Yeah, because she knows... Why didn't I swap to her the first time? I'm so stupid. No, this is a trainer battle, chat. Silly goose. Silly geese. You goobers. You absolute pop-tarts. Sorry I called you Pop-Tarts. You know, Gum's actually pretty high level that we when we caught her, so that's a that's a decent level to be at. I want to level up Potato, but Gum's just, like, much better right now. Oh, so this is a new area. Yeah, this is not Valley Windwork, so we can catch something here. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay, please! Shellos, please! Woo-wee! Woo-wee! Ooh-wee. I know, the Shellos is a monster. Fork is absolutely fine. We're gonna go help Fork. Fork is gonna be okay. What the hell was that Shellos? It was like, no, oh, I'm not gonna die. Die, Staravia. I've come to destroy you. I am the Shellos destroyer and consumer of the world. <laughs> it's the same Shellos. We didn't kill it. It just came back. It's the exact same one. We are the Cass. Kill all Shellos. No, not Gum though. Gum Gum is a sweet baby. Yes, finally, a rock type move. Thank you. Uh Mud Sport, you are useless. Get out of here. Uh it's time for Gum to shine. I think Gum is just like a sweetheart. Do you think Gum she's just like really soft spoken and nice? But then as soon as like you you say the wrong thing, she just like goes full berserk on you, like you say something mean about her friends. I'm developing headcanon personality traits for these Pokemon. Gum is gonna be the sweetheart. She's gonna be... She's gonna be like the mom friend. She takes care of everyone. Very pleasant to be around. I mean, she's wrecking all of these Geodudes. And it's definitely not because of quad weakness or anything. So, Fork is a, is a lazy bird. Shield is a lonely turtle. That he's like, finally... Oh, what if... What if Shield was lonely and he's like, Oh, I hope I have a trainer and he finally has one and it's us oh. shield is lonely without sword oh we need to find sword for shield uh, i just like calling my pokemon my sword and my shield that feels so nice okay so potato potato's jolly he's a nice he's a nice happy dude actually th that name is pretty fitting potato it's nice and happy jolly but quick temper how does that work i don't i don't know how that works Geodude just lo he Geodude does look like an angry Pokemon, though, so I guess it makes sense. Uh, Shield is lonely, but uh, he's happy that he's finally got a trainer. Aw, oh, Shield is off and lost and th Do you think he's thinking about Sword? Sword is out there somewhere. He's lonely, but he's thinking about Sword. Oh, Fork is lonely, too. I thought he was lax. Okay. Very finicky. He's like, uh, I can't wait to meet new people. Doorknob is modest. He might look like a vicious Pokemon, because Dustox kind of looks like a... You know, poison Pokemon get a bad rap, but he's modest. He knows his place. He knows when it's not his time to shine, and he he lets 
other people in the spotlight when it's their turn. So I like to think Doorknob is like the nerd, the smart, nice nerd that likes prodding at things and like he likes to, he's like, oh, fascinating. Spork is lax. He, he knows he's just along for the ride to help out, help us traverse the area. He doesn't really care. And, uh, oh, she's hardy. Okay, so yeah. Quick-tempered. Oh, that's perfect. So she's, like, nice and all, but if you wrong her just, like, a little bit, you're on her shit list. Now that I'm all invested, can't wait to have them die. It's Pride Month. Make all D&D characters gay. <laughs> Joke's on you. All D&D characters are already gay. <laughs> you can't call yourself bi unless you fucked at least one bicycle. Apom and Detective Pikachu scares- Apom and Detective Pikachu fucking terrifying. That's one tip, uh, if you ever want to design something creepy, make a non-human thing and give it human features. Try it out. Hey, a Buizel! Finally, a different Pokemon. We can catch this one. Birds with arms? <laughs> yeah, well, maybe maybe birds with arms don't look creepy, they just look derpy. Good way to start. Hey! Oh, I like Buoy! Oh, sorry, no, I like Buoy. Buoy's really good. I'm gonna pronounce it boy. And just say it like Kratos. He's boy now. Boy. But it's good to have a backup anyway. A backup water type. Wait, there she is. It's her. It's Cheryl. Uh, no resting, but she does heal your Pokemon after every battle. So this is, this is good. Oh, wait, how are we going to do double battles? I'm going to give myself an out and say I can catch the first of either Pokemon I run into. So in this case, if I did not already have a Dustox, I could catch Dustox or Badoo. So in this case, this Badoo is my first Pokemon and this is my catch. <sighs> it's dead, it is so dead. Mm, or maybe not? Or maybe Potato's dead. Potato, hang in there. Whoa, Singularity 98 gifted 20 subs. Holy shit. Yeah, I'll name the Badoo Singularity if it'll fit. Why not? Singularity. If I ever feel the need to put another grass type on my team, because uh, Rose Raid is really good. It's nothing to scoff at. What did I not like about the Crap Guide to Warlock? Just kind of the whole thing was very by the numbers. And uh, nothing really special about it was my problem anyway. I don't like how this Pachu is looking at me. I worry that I'm not going to be able to kill it in time. Jeez. Uh, if I can get a good magnitude off, I have to either do all the damage and kill it in this turn, or do no damage and hope Chansey doesn't attack it. Those are my two options. Or I could rock polish. Yeah, I'll rock polish. Why not? Chansey, don't do it. Cheryl, I'm trusting you. Oh god. That's bad. Oh, luckily no stab. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Cheryl knows what she's doing. Potato's not dead yet. Luckily. I think if that were a stab, Potato would be absolutely dead. I actually like Pachirisu quite a bit. I think it's one of the better... That's really bad. That's... Mm... Okay, thank you, Intimidate. Shield, protect us. Please. Yeah, Potato is basically the Big Lebowski. We'll say that. Yeah, I actually really like Pachirisu's design. It's one of the Pikachu clones that I like quite a bit. All right, Cheryl's Chansey is uh, dead. <laughs> no, no, Amity. No, I don't hate non-evolved Pokemon. No, one of my best friends is a non-evolved Pokemon. Oh God, this is fine. We are incredibly tanky and we can't be poisoned because we're paralyzed. All right, and just like that, look, our party is back to uh, back to full health because Cheryl is a walking Pokemon Center. Ah, all right, Abras. Let's try out some Magnitude. Why not? We lost Crowbar, our Zubat, as well. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no! No! got one shot! What the hell? Fighting? Oh my god! That's not okay! Oh, Potato got mashed! Fuck you, Abra! That was a special fighting move. Wow! He was gonna get so big and strong, too! 
He was having such a- he's, he grew so much! I was really growing to like him too! He was like the comic- he was the big Lebowski of the team! He was the chill dude! <laughs> Gum's about to chew him up and spit them out. Gum is mad! Gum is in the first slot because she is going berserk. That her friend's dead. She's murdering every single one of the Pokemon in this forest. With what? She's gonna scald the forest down. Maybe Sturdy? Sturdy doesn't work the way you think it does in this game. In this, uh, before Gen 5, Sturdy just protects you from one-hit kill moves like, uh, Sheer Cold and Guillotine. It doesn't actually protect you from being one-shot. Just yet. Is Chansey eating its own egg? Yes. Yeah, fucking gum is on a rampage. She's taking no shit. Oh no, no! Mentos, don't say that. Oh, don't say that. I don't like that. Isn't the solution to every Nuzlocke- Well, some people put the rule that you can't grind past the next gym's level. Which I think is a fair rule. What is my favorite four-letter word? I don't know. Probably Borf. Uh, how long did it take you to start feeling confident on, about your art? It's not that I wasn't and then I suddenly am. It's, it's, a, it's like a cycle. On some days I'll feel confident about it, and on some days I'll feel like it's garbage. I think yesterday was one of those days where it peaked, where I, I just felt like no matter what, everything I made was terrible. And I think it all came to a point and just like all compiled on the Warlock video. So who do we bring on the team as a filler space? Do we bring Boy or do we bring Singularity? Boy? Lots of people saying boy. All right. Boy the Buizel. Uh, boy. Quirky. Ah, oh, so yeah, he's like, he's kind of wacky and weird. Proud of its power. Okay, he's, he's like, um, Yosuke from Persona 4. Where he's kind of weird, kind of a loser, but he's a funny dude. So, we have another area. We can catch another Mon. And we can also slather some more honey. Cricketot! First Cricketot. All right. Guess we're catching a Cricketot. Not effective against bugs, so it's either ground, poison, grass, or fighting. Yeah, the Persona games are really good. Ooh, I don't like that bide. I'm gonna harden. Just because, just because it means I'm not gonna be attacking it. Yeah, there we go. No, Bide, uh, Bide ignores all defenses. It deals double the damage it was taken, no matter what. What do we name this Cricketot? It is not strong enough to be sword. This is not our sword. Continuing with the object names. So, the two bug moves that it does know, it can't know because it has to level up to evolve. God damn it. I'm sorry, Cricketoon kinda sucks. Wow, and the stats are nothing to write home about. The move tutor, yeah, but that's so far away. I should have named it Baggage. Wow. So the Cricketot that we caught, which is level 14, will evolve at level 15, which means it can't know Leech Life and it can't know Fury Cutter until we meet the move tutor. And then it learns Sing and Focus Energy and doesn't learn any more moves until X's are at 30. Sorry, no. I knew people considered Cricketune bad, but I didn't know it was that bad. Wait, no, 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 I'm wrong. Hold on. It learns Slash at 26. Wow. <laughs> but yo, it's about friendship and love and believe and also you have to limit the amount of Pokemon. You gotta love your Pokemon and trust them through all the hard times. It's not about the numbers or the stats. See, see, knife is a kitchen appliance, not a weapon. Well, it is a weapon, but it's not designed to be one. Dagger, though. Dagger's specifically made for stabbing. Why not shiny hunt? I'm not a fan of shiny hunting, and I could go without shinies. How much do I fear Cynthia? This much. You can't, you can't see it, but I'm holding my arms out a lot. Congrats on a new vid. You are my new, you're my new favorite creator, dude. Uh, thanks. I'm just, I'm just not proud of that video, you know. So I'm, I'm redoing it. I hope people don't mind. So I, I want to be happy with it as well. I can't make everybody happy, but I can make myself happy. And that's what I want to try and do. You have a winning aura about you. Thank you. Here we go. This one should be pretty easy. Grass has got quite a few weaknesses, and we got a fair bit 
Ah, oh, look at her Turtwig. But uh, people usually consider Grass as the weakest of the three starter types because it has so many weaknesses. Yeah, we, well, we don't want to use Spork because Spork will just make this easy mode. And we don't want easy mode. We know Spork can just snap this entire gym. Psh, using all these Grass type moves with my quad resist. Ooh, that's scary. Yeah, and she's gonna use a super potion. That's fair. That's fair. Keep using Poison Sting. Oh no, that's not good. Leech Seed can absolutely be scary. No, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. With a combination of Gust and Poison, we are going to be fine. I just really want Doorknob to get this XP. Even though Doorknob is most likely the strongest he'll be. This is his time to shine. He's been on the sidelines too long. He may be modest, but he's no pushover. Dude, seriously, Leech Seed is doing some work. Look at that. I'm gonna swap out. All right, looks like it. I, 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 I kind of have to. I don't want to use more potions. I, I think, I think I was okay. I, I think I'm safe even from crits. I don't think a crit would uh, kill him. I, I got a chat. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm scaring you. Sorry. I live life on the edge. Oh, that's a lot of damage. All right, I'm gonna use my super potion. Not a very heavy. Ooh. I don't like this. I don't like this, chat. Maybe swapping to doorknob is the best move. Maybe I should have healed doorknob. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. We can always swap to shield. Send in gum. You are... Ooh. We're gonna send out shield. Yeah. Shield will protect us. Oh, she didn't heal. Okay. Oh god, he's heavy. I could have quick attacked, but I didn't want to risk it. I I didn't know if that would do enough. Oh god, am I in an endless loop? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Yeah, I am. Oh no! I have to I have to sacrifice someone. <sighs> doorknob will not survive. I don't trust Doorknob to survive. Uh, I think we're gonna have to sacrifice Spork. I'm sorry, Spork. This is your moment. Bidoof will win, win this Nuzlocke. Nuzlocke. He, he knows he's just along for the ride to help out. Okay, Doorknob. We're gonna heal you, Doorknob. I need you to trust me. I need you to trust me. Hold my hand. No crits, please. No crits. Okay. I'm gonna heal Doorknob one more time. Because I don't trust this Roserade. God, I should have healed Doorknob. You think I could have survived? I don't- we can't take that chance. One crit is all it takes. Oh, God. All right, a crit will not kill us here. The bodies are piling up. All right, well, thank you, our almighty Bidoof. Thank you for forgiving me. What cost? What cost? Bidoof died for our sins. There is a fly in my room once again. Luckily, it was not a Pokemon that we needed. It's just a Pokemon that makes things a lot better. Bidoof makes everything better when you play. Now everything just sucks. He would have never hurt anybody either. He's such a chill dude. And he's just like, oh, I'm Bidoof, I'm hanging around. Oh, you need me to do HMs for you? Yeah, sure, why not? We're, uh, we're gonna bring Singularity in here. I'm actually about to cry, I'll be honest. Oh, uh, you came to see the Pokemon statue, right? I'll take you there. Thank you, Puffin. Oh, hey! <laughs> when we smacked together, a brilliant flash of inspiration came to me. An easy way to become a great trainer. Yeah, that. All right, listen close. Make certain all your attacks hit. Avoid enemy attacks for sure. You do that, you never lose. You'll be the invincible trainer. You don't say, Puffin. Yeah, this is the herb shop. We can buy some cheap medicine here. It doesn't matter to me that this brings down happiness. If they're mad, then they're still alive. At least they'll be alive enough to be mad. 
Well, the thing is, we killed our first chance at a Machop. If I run into another Machop, that's not good. Don't hurt yourself! Okay. I think Spork's sacrifice is gonna have a bigger impact than we realize right now, than is immediately apparent. I'm watching over these Pokemon like a hawk, like a star raptor. Does this mean we should- have No, no more sacrifices. No sacrifices. <laughs> Everyone joining in. Wait, did Spork die? What happened? Where's Spork? I always fear- This guy's got six Magikarps. Jesus. Uh, Badoo. Badoo's nature is modest. She's modest as well, and she likes to fight. Yeah, she's modestly training right now. She's trying to get big and strong like her friends. She looks up to them. She's the wholesome one. Very sweet, modest. She's like Gum's little sister, in a way. Gum is like the big overprotective mom friend. And then uh, Singularity is, you know, she's like, she's happy to be there. She looks up to Spork, yeah. It's perfect. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good! Mmm, boy. Mmm, boy. Mmm, that's not good. Mmm, swapping out. Mmm, gum protector. <laughs> what have we discussed? I didn't- I don't know! I don't- I don't know what their attacks are gonna be when I first send them out. I don't know! We're gonna test this hidden power, see if it's grass. Because, uh, it is not very effective against bug. Yeah, we got hidden power grass. Look at that. Singularity needs a move to combat something that is not going to be weak to grass. We'll give her cut. I've got enough Pokeballs. I think. I hope. I'm gonna stock up. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Gotta make sure you stock up on balls. You never know when you're gonna need some balls. No, no potions. Only balls. The only thing you need for a successful Nuzlocke are lots of large balls. Okay. There we go. And... There we go, we're fine. I'm fine. No encounters. There we go. Alright, so... I'll be honest. As a child, this place re legitimately creeps me out. There's no music, no proper music. Hey, it's a ghastly. Okay. We're gonna catch this boy. Unpopular opinion, or maybe just just a an opinion in general. I prefer Haunter's design over Gengar's design. I don't know why. I, I just kind of like it. And I'm not really feeling boy, so we could have him replace boy for now. All right. What do we name this this spooky boy? Rick Ga Rick Gastly. Hold on. Will this fit? S T L Y. Yes. Rick Gastly. <laughs> It's Rotom! I think this is why I thought it was a legendary, because it gets the legendary roaming Pokemon music. Oh boy, uproar. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't like that, don't like that at all. Uh, we're gonna raise a leaf again, please don't crit. Please don't crit your uproar either. Okay, well, we killed it. All right, great. Mmm, great. Well, no Rotom. Uh, I thought it would do less damage than that. Guess we still don't get any electric types, everybody. No big deal. No big deal. Your <laughs> shield got cursed by Perugly. That's exactly what happened. Perugly is known as a run ender. It was pretty close to uh, completely destroying us, or at least killing Shield. It also gave Shield 666 experience, which leveled him up, and he learned Curse. So I'm pretty sure Shield is cursed by Mars's Perugly. <gasps> Don't like that. Don't like that. Don't like that. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it, chat. It's best you don't see what happened. A fun thing to, to, to try and trick an anti-vaxxer, if you ever meet one, tell them, like, don't you think that the anti-vax movement is just a conspiracy of Russia and China in order to lower the US's immune system so that they can unleash biological warfare on us? Looker is like, he, he's like the tuxedo mask of this game. He's like, my work here is done. But he doesn't actually do anything. We're gonna swap out boy for Rick Gastly. <laughs> Hell yeah. What's my policy on the shiny claws? Shiny claws is active. If I meet it, if I find a shiny, which I think is very unlikely, but if I do, 
I can catch it. I am allowed to catch it. All right, so Ghastly is impish. Okay. Yeah, like mischievous, right? Like a little troll. Yeah, I think that's fitting. It's fitting for a ghost. And he's quick to flee, <laughs> so he's a coward. Just poor special attack stat. I'm willing to give up some special attack for some defense. I'm okay with that. All right, this might be a slow fight. Oh, no! No! No, 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 no! Oh! oh swap! Pokemon switch <laughs> without that plus defense nature Rick Gasly would have died. Yeah, see what's my favorite starter tie between Turtwig and Rowlet. Am I an official Jojo? Well, I am Joseph Jocat. What's my stand? My stand is Joe crap. It's the crap guides guy and he comes out and just absolutely beats the shit out of you. Ordinary people like you can't understand to go there. Oh. I don't even know what's going on. Dude, same. I identify with random grunt. Mm, I'm not risking it. It's probably it's it knows some psychic type moves. It absolutely knows psychic type moves. God, I got three poison types in here. Jesus. All right. Yeah, it would absolutely. Whoa! Whoa! Chill out, Kadabra. Chill out for a sec. Whoa! Shield is a beast for tanking that. But if that was a crit, Shield was dead. We're gonna we're gonna send Shield out first because he's he's our frontline tank and he can. He could take on a quite a bit of damage. How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon? Fine, I, Jupiter, will deal with you. Yeah, it is gonna suck when we lose our tank. It's absolutely gonna suck. Speaking of tank, let's tank up. Mm -hmm. Don't like that. Never mind, we're not gonna tank up. We're gonna swap out. Ah, oh, the doorknob is... Mm, this is a really bad time. Four, you go. <laughs> a Zubat, it's the end of days! Shit! We can maybe get some double teams up. We're gonna stack up on double teams. A crit will kill us at this health. At full health, a crit will be fine. More double, okay, we're at full double team. Okay, all right, wing attack hits with a full double team stack. Skun tank, we are keeping you in, Fork. This skun tank is a monster and it's gross. Gonna keep wing attacking. We're fine. We don't have to worry about it critting if it never hits us in the first place. No faint attacks. Okay, night slash. Don't crit. Holy shit! Quick attack. End this. Get it over with. Oh lord. Oh, that was the only way we would have beaten that. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of attack. Oh, thank you, Puffin. It was Puffin's advice. Puffin gave us the perfect Never get hit and you win. Avoid all enemy attacks. I cruise my cycle shot. Oh, we get our bike. We get the bike. Oh, this is a good start. This is a good start. Thank you.